this is a third video on hordulum internal versus hordulum external so let's see what is things so okay this is hordulum internum and this is hordulum external so both are the superative inflammation but of different things so as you can see this hordulum internal it lies in the tarsal part so what we can find here are the mevomin glands therefore hordulum internal or internal hordulum is the superative inflammation of mevomin gland or blockage of the duct whereas external hordulum you can see where it is lying it's lying in the lead margin so that means what are the glands here found they have found uh, the glands here found are cheese and mole so it is the acute separative inflammation of the last follicles and associated glands of cheese or mole so that's the point number one next thing is the etylosy part if both of them have the same etylosy they are most common in children and young adult the patient with eye strains due to muscle imbalance or refractive error in the habitual rubbing of eyes or fingering of lids and nose chronic blepharitis and diabetes mellitus and the causative organisms are also same that is staph aureus so what are the symptoms in the hodulum external there is acute pain swelling of the lid okay and there is mild watering and the photophobia whereas in the hodulum internum we can see intense acute pain okay so it's there is acute pain here is intense acute pain swelling of the lid and mild watering and photophobia whereas in case of sign in the external hodulum you can see that there is two types of stage stage of cellulitis then stage of abscess in cellulitis there is localized firm red tender swelling of the lead margin associated with the marked edema after that in the abscess stage okay there is visible post pause point on the lead margin in relation to the affected cilia okay whereas in hodulum internum we can see that localized firm red tender swelling of lead associated with the edema and the diff main difference here is that the point of okay maximum tenderness is away from the lead margin so the point of max when you touch it the tenderness point is away okay it's not towards the lead margin here it's towards the lead margin here it's away from the lead margin and then post point is also away from the lead margin whether this post point is towards the lead margin if you see the post point is towards lead margin but as here it is away from the lead margin towards the tarsal conjunctiva so these are the differences between the um external hordulum and the internal hordulum the thing is same and that's it a short video on external hordulum versus internal hordulum